Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Anime Fights, where I rate two similar and popular characters based on various criteria to determine which one trumps the other. This week, Spike Spiegel, the dangerous and amazingly quotable bounty hunter from Cowboy Bebop, versus Kamina, the robot riding, speech giving figurehead of the human rebellion from Tengen Topa Gurren Lagar. The first criteria will be the strength of their backstory. Kamina begins as a charismatic man reaching for the surface in an underground prison of a town, motivated by his father, who travelled to the surface before him. Shortly after reaching the surface, however, he finds his father dead. Now this is tragic, sure, but Spike's backstory is one to be reckoned with. The same blood runs through both of us. The blood of a beast who wanders, hunting for the blood of others. I bled all that kind of blood away. Then why are you still alive? Spike used to be a vicious and powerful member of the Red Dragon clan, which is basically the Space Mafia. Over time, he began to realize the cruelty of his actions and attempted to flee. But that is by no means easy. It was only the love of his life, Julia, who saved his life, allowing him to flee and become a bounty hunter. The Spike's backstory is far better developed and central to the plot, both in search for Julia and his confrontations with the Red Dragon Clan. I'll award this point to Spike. Next up is their coolness factor, based off their fashion, charisma, and overall badassery. Now this was always going to be a close call, as Spike and Kamina are both known as some of the coolest characters anime has ever produced. However, while both are usually cool, calm, and collected, Spike is sometimes lazy or unnecessarily mean, or Kamina is sometimes perverted and stupidly brave. But it is this unflinching stupidness which gives him such great charisma, not to mention his now iconic glasses and rousing speech. I'm gonna tell you something important now, so you better dig the wax out of those huge ears of yours and listen close. The reputation of Team Guren echoes far and wide. When they talk about its badass leader, the man of indomitable spirit and masculinity, they're talking about me, the mighty Kamina! Kamina wins this round. Now, which is the most interesting overall personality? Spike has many different sides to his personality. He's generally cool and relaxed aboard the bebop and when fighting baddies, but this facade sometimes breaks to reveal his weak, caring and desperate side forged from trauma and pain. Look at my eyes for me. One of them is a fake because I lost it in an accident. Since then, I've been seeing the past in one eye and the present in the other. On the other hand, Kamina may be cooler but personally I found his character to be quite static, only showing certain flares of personality, which was probably needed to make him as cool as he was in just 8 episodes. Spike takes this point. We've all heard that great people follow great men, but which people are greater? To begin, Yoko Littner and Faye Valentine are both feisty and sexy women with impeccable fighting skill and interesting personalities. Can't draw a line there. The crew of the Bebop also includes the hyperactive hacker kid Edward von Halpapalov Tivluski the Fourth, who, by the way, is a girl, and hard business like ex cop Jet Black. Kamina is most often accompanied by his, you could say, apprentice, the young and wimpy, powerful Simon, and the flamboyantly gay engineer Lee Wong. I would have awarded Spike the victory with the much cooler crew of the Bebop but I can't ignore that Kamina soon becomes the leader of an entire army of interesting and varied characters. Team Daiguren decimates the crew of the Bebop any day. Fifth, which character had the greatest impact in their particular anime universe? Spike and the crew of the Bebop are some of the best known bounty hunters in their universe, with Spike notably saving the lives of an entire city in the movie and killing the Hen Honcho of the Space Mafia, along with many of its girls. Kamina wasn't even the most influential character in his own anime, but his actions begun the human revolution, and his legacy leads to Simon's drill literally piercing the heavens in the biggest fight in anime history. Even the greatest space cowboy couldn't impact something of that scale. Mark my words, this drill will open a hole in the universe! 
And that hole will be a path for those behind us. The dreams of those who have fallen. The hopes of those who will follow. Those two sets of dreams weave together into a double helix, drilling a path towards tomorrow! Okay, three, two, one, it's down. You all knew it was coming. Who is the stronger warrior? And neither is unrivaled, but both are among the best at what they do. Kamina is a brilliant strategist and has amazing fighting spirit, which allows him to be a great pilot of the Mika Gurren, mastering the Giga Draw Breaker long before anyone else. He also has some skill with the sword and an unarmed combat. Giga! Spike is also a skilled pilot, his ship being the Swordfish Mark II, dodging tens of lasers on one occasion and outmaneuvering the bullets of and destroying three police ships on another. Outside his ship, his weapon of choice is his trusty pistol, the Jericho 941. Spike is also master of unarmed combat, specifically Jeet Kune Do, a form favoured by Bruce Lee, and the high kicks of French boxing. It means becoming like clear water. Water. Right. Water can take any form. It drifts without effort one moment, then pounds down in a torrent the very next. As such, Spike's greater ability at face-to-face -face combat wins him this round. Finally, which of the two sad but badass deaths were done best? I'm not going there to die. I'm going to find out if I'm really alive. Spike dies after busting into the heavily guarded base of the Red Dragon Syndicate and bypassing at least 12 armed mafia goons before facing off against and defeating his archenemy, Vicious. Meanwhile, Carmina is pierced while claiming a fortress he had thought to be captured, but it does not go down without a fight, using Giga Drill Breaker to blast through his killer before spouting this epic line in his final moments. Listen, Simon, never forget. Just believe in yourself. Not in the Simon that I believe in. Not in the Kamina that you believe in. Have faith in the Simon that believes in you. Unfortunately for Kamina, his killer was by no means the top dog. His comrades later defeating far more powerful enemies, while Spikes was. Kamina's early death also means that it is greeted more by shock than sadness. So... It looks like Carmen's chance in this battle goes out with a... Bang. He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? Just a humble bounty hunter, ma'am. Hey there. Thanks for watching the first episode of Kame Fights. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below. And if you have any problems with my judgement, or even if you don't, then be sure to comment and I will reply with my thoughts. See ya!